Hi, I'm Ray Mancini. I'm here to talk to you about the Sheltering Seniors with Love, which is the love for all seniors at all local nursing communities and sheltering at home. The Ray Bungo Mancini Foundation is supporting this cause because it is a positive initiative for all of those who are sheltering in their homes. The program runs on Armstrong Cable Mondays, April 7th through April 21st. The Armstrong community, along with Greg Roden, have been a leading contributor to this cause, and we want to thank you for your efforts. We also want to thank all of the local entertainers for your music and for your time. And we want to thank all of those out there who may have it in their heart to donate to this cause. For all those who want to inquire about donations, please contact Maria Metters with the Ray Boomer Mancini Foundation at 330-559-8891. We appreciate your time and we appreciate the efforts of all of those who are giving of themselves. Remember, please never forget our elderly because then I can assure you this, they will never forget you. Hi folks, how are you? Thank you for inviting us into your living room or wherever you're at. We are the Charnello family, I'm Jack. It's my beautiful wife, Crystal. She told me to say that. <laughs> and our beautiful daughter, Ruby. She doesn't Ruby. have to tell him to say that. Of course not. <laughs> Anyways, we are so happy to be here this afternoon. We're going to bring you some music. These are tunes that we're going to want you to sing along to. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Just don't dance on the tables, okay? I, don't th I think that's probably against the law in some states. <laughs> yeah. But anyways... We're going to be doing a, a variety of tunes. We're even going to do some Name That Tune, okay? So we want you guys to participate, and we want you to have a good time. Let's start out with a sing-along. I'm pretty sure you're going to remember this one. Oh, my goodness, 1924. Not that you're that old, of course, but let's have some fun. Ruby, we'll see you in a little bit, honey. singing along out there. <laughs> At least clapping your hands, stomping your feet a little bit, right? I saw a okay. few. <laughs> awesome. So here we go. This is Accentuate the Positive. You've got to accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. 
negative and latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In-Between. You've got to spread joy up to the maximum and bring bloom down to the minimum and have faith or pandemonium is liable to walk upon the scene. To illustrate my last remark, Jonah and the whale, Noah and the ark, what did they do just when everything looked so dark? Man, they said we better accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In-Between. and latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In-Between. No, don't mess with Mr. In-Between. Accentuate the positive. Sounds like some good advice to me. Absolutely. Every day. Well, you know what, Crystal? Whenever I do the nursing home solo, this next song is a song that gets always requested the most. Mm. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play a foot stomper. We'll invite Crystal and Ruby back in just a little bit. But this is called The Entertainer. Now this is a little bit long, but I'm gonna ask you to clap your hands along with it, stomp your feet, have a good time. Scott Joplin's The Entertainer. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot. Nah, just kidding. clapping, aren't you?
The Entertainer, Scott Joplin. I'm going to play a couple of pieces on the piano that require you to sing along. And you're thinking, well, wait, maybe I won't know the words. Well, now, how could you not know the words to the song that's titled Unforgettable? Let's do a couple of Nat King Cole tunes. I'm going to do four songs from him. Don't worry, we're not going to do long versions of them. But every one of them, it just seems like it's more special than the last one. These are songs that are going to help bring back memories to a time and place where right was right, and wrong was wrong, and white was white, and black was back, and everybody had a good time, okay? Especially the last song. So this first one's called Unforgettable. <laughs> Unforgettable. So how many folks think Nat King Cole started out as a singer? Because actually, Nat King Cole was a fantastic jazz pianist. I bet you some of you didn't know that. And on Nat King Cole's first paying job, he and his trio were hired, and a fellow that's out in the audience who spends a lot of money at that club yells out, sing a song. Well, Nat King Cole kind of said softly, uh, well, we don't sing. Anyways, the owner of the establishment heard that, and he sent a note up to Nat King Cole saying, please, somebody sing something. That fella spends a lot of money here. Sing a song. So... <laughs> Uh, having gotten the orders from the boss, Nat actually sang a song, and that was the beginning of his professional singing career. Well, that's kind of interesting, huh? Let's do another one. This song is about a young lady that has a smile that is so captivating that people come from all parts of the world to see her and have her smile at them. Lisa.
And how about this one? You guys are going to get a kick out of this. Think back. 1962. I know you were a lot younger then. But this song came on the radio, and it just had us all singing along. And I want you to do the same thing right now, because this song is called Those Lazy Hazy Crazy Roll Out Those Lazy Days of Summer. Lazy, hazy, crazy days of summer. Pretzels and beer, right? Good stuff. We're going to do one more quick one. Everybody will remember this tune. King Cole. Crystal, come on back. Mm -hmm. All right. How's Ruby doing? Oh, she's doing okay. She's doing good? <laughs> I'll tell you what, she's looking at you guys right now. I can't wait. Ruby's got some special things in store, too. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when I met Crystal, I knew she sang a little bit, but when she really, really started to show me what she could do, it just blew me away. She's going to do a beautiful song for you. How many of you remember the artist? Bette Midler, of course. I think one of Bette's probably most beloved songs is a hit she had with a song called The Rose. Are you ready? Ready.
That was beautiful. Mm. What a great song. That huh? is a great song. Love oh comes goodness. in many different forms. Sure is. Yep. Well, what Ruby, do you say? Come on over. All right. Come on over, Ruby. So, what are you going to play for them first, Ruby? Play O oh, to Joy. O oh, to Joy, okay, go for it. What are you going to play next? And next I'm going to be playing This Is The Day. Are you going to play or are you going to play and sing this one? Mm -hmm. You're going to do both, huh? Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, we'll see you in a little bit, Ruby. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and being glad in it, and we hope that, uh, that you're able to join in with us on a few of these next songs. We're going to go ahead and sing some of our favorite hymns. We're going to start with The Lily of the Valley. Jesus, he's everything. 
But these songs, they can bring such a joy to our heart. We want to make sure you're singing along with them, okay? What's next, Crystal? The next one we're going to do is In the Garden. I don't think they'll have any trouble singing along with this one. This is a beautiful ballad. This is a piano arrangement. 
that a wonderful arranger, his name is Mark Hayes, he wrote this arrangement of a beautiful song called The Old Rugged Cross.
your rugged cross. Hey folks, let's bring Ruby back out. Come on out, Ruby, sing some songs for the... Wow, that's the reddest tambourine I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, that's going to make a joyful noise. What do you want to sing first, honey? Count your blessings. Count your blessings. That's something we do every day, huh? And how do we count them? One by one. One by one. <laughs> I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. How long? Forever. Forever. That's a mighty long time. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. <laughs> Okay, folks, we're going to have Crystal do a beautiful song. This is a song that actually is called How Beautiful. It was written by Twyla Paris.
Folks, it's been an absolute pleasure to play for you this afternoon. We can't wait to see you in person. We, uh, we do quite a few of the, the nursing and assisted living facilities in the area. And I can see a lot of your smiling faces right now. Ruby and Crystal and myself can't wait to get back in person. But until the next time we see you, let's remember that our Lord Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. We are not alone. We are truly together. Let's do Amazing Grace. Oh 
Come on over, Ruby. All right. Come on over. Folks, again, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting us to entertain you this afternoon. We hope you've enjoyed the songs. Please, until the next time that we see you, keep the faith, stay positive, keep moving those feet, clapping those hands, and smiling. And remember, Jesus Christ loves you, and we love you too. Thanks, folks. See you soon. Bye-bye.